Hi, I'm Eric. I'm uh, training for my first marathon since officially turning pensioner's age. I'm doing it on behalf of Ahoy, a charitable organization on the Thames that teaches disadvantaged youth to uh, build traditional Thames river skiffs, row them, and then command teams of executives down the river in marathon challenges to raise money for the organization. I'm training for the next six weeks around London. I invite you to come along. Today's run is an 18 miler from Maidenhead to Henley on Thames. Interesting mix of marine vessels and can old canal craft and service boats out here on the Thames just below Maidenhead. It's lovely, very rural, hard to believe we're just a few miles outside London or maybe even in London, I'm not sure. Just for the record, are we in London? No. no. 25 okay. miles outside of London, hard to believe. Here's a cute riverside place. Next to the river, it looks like horse country. I'm only about two miles into an 18 mile run. Coming into Cookham now. Oh, through Cookham and back on the Thames, three and a half miles, sticking to my 11 and a half minute per mile pace for the first nine miles dictated by my running world marathon 16 week sub five hour training plan. Some of my fitter friends question whether 11 and a half minutes a mile even qualifies as running. Well, we're coming to the next town, Born End. Barges like this may have been sailing all this way up the Thames for hundreds of years. Only 4.27 miles into my 18 miles. Gotta pass it up. Oh, I guess up this way, woo, we go up a hill. No one said anything about hills. It really could hardly be more lovely. It said that London is a bunch of villages connected by cow paths that grew into a city. I think I'm on one of the cow paths that got left behind. He's a cutie. Sorry. She no worries. <laughs> question I should have asked is how far to the next pub. <laughs> I think I've been here before. <laughs> and this is with the aid of GPS, mind you. <sighs> Fortunately, I'm training for a distance event. Doesn't matter how I rack up the distance. Cheers. This is where I got confused last time. Went down and took a right instead of a left. Where do you go left right here? Get to the top of the hill for the second time and discover I've run to Middle Earth. Under the highway, and another cow path. Picking up the pace a little bit to 11 minutes a mile is gonna be the target now because <laughs> the sun is setting. And that's what the Runner's World program calls for. Second nine miles at 11 minutes a mile. Moments like this, you wonder if you misread the foot, so foot path signs. Bisham Abbey National Sports Center. At the, not much seems to be happening at the full in free house in Bisham at 10 miles. Still only 10 miles and I'm later and I'm behind schedule having gotten lost. So I'm going to try to save that beer for later. Doesn't say footpath, says, but it's a trail to Hurley. I think that's on the Thames. Temple Weir House suggests there's a weir, one of the weirs that make the river navigable, holding water back the way they've done for hundreds of years. Henry VIII supposedly had a train of 60 barges for the coronation of Anne Boleyn. Quintessential English view, sheep, wool, Wool sparked uh, economic boom in England. I guess medieval times, I believe. Thames footpath is up this way. Yeah, he's going. holders only. Yeah, fine. Okay. Thank you. It's not all super well marked, but that's a good excuse to talk to people. Additional canal boat coming by on the Upper Thames, approaching the Hurley Lock. Until they completed the Grand Union Canal, beginning of the 20th century, narrow boats like that one had to travel the Thames 
uh, to get to London coming down from the Midlands. They'd come as far as Oxford on the Oxford Canal and then it was the Thames, this section of the Thames the rest of the way. Two thirds of the way, even with sunset coming, it's time for a little bit of Snickers bar. 14 miles, longest of run in a long time. Um, this is the point where you start thinking about the organization you're committing the effort to raise money for. Ahoy! Uh, works with disadvantaged youth, teaches them boat building skills, teaches them how to row them, and teaches, how to, teaches them how to drive teams of London executives down the river, giving them orders as they compete in uh, these marathon rowing challenges they organize. Ah. <sighs> Woo! Okay, one more bite. On to Henley on Thames, probably shortly after nightfall. I'm hurting a little for certain, but not really, not so much I gotta stop. That's what these long distance runs are about, I find. Conditioning yourself to just absorb moderate discomfort for prolonged periods of time. That's why it's nice to have all this beautiful countryside to distract you. It helps if you're easily distracted. Ah. All right, onward to Hems Hen Henley on Thames. Uh, check out the work of Ahoy at ahoy.org.uk and uh, follow me for the next couple of weeks as I get ready for the run to the castle. See ya. Two miles to go. Henley on Thames. The angel made it. Here's, and here's the angel of the angel. 